friends, it is the last vlog before Vlogmas. So, some things to share with you throughout to help you prepare for Vlogmas as well. And yeah, it's Saturday. Um, my parents hit the road. We had an amazing Thanksgiving together. I didn't record because I really just wanted to enjoy my time with them, but it was a wonderful, wonderful time. But let me show you the Thanksgiving table because I still have it all set up. This may honestly be my favorite Thanksgiving table. Everyone raved about it. All of these greens are live. They still feel really fresh and they smell amazing. I am going to keep this set up and just change up my greens every so often, about every two to three weeks, just depending on how dried out they get. But in this arrangement, these trees from Target a hit and I love that I'll be able to transition them into anything and these hurricanes are actually from Target and they were so reasonably priced for the size and then all my brass candlesticks come from Goodwill I just grab them when I see them and I probably now have 30 plus and then I cloved some oranges I have some pears that I picked up at Whole Foods that the color was just perfect and then cinnamon sticks but look how beautiful it is. And then I grabbed this ribbon on Amazon. I'm going to link it. It comes in lots of colors, but the wire, the quality of the wire was so, so good. Look how this ribbon, I was able to shape it and do everything that I wanted with it. But this was the table set up for Thanksgiving this year. And I just could not, could not, could not be happier with it. Just look how pretty it is. My good friend, who many of you follow as well, Christina Brawley, sent me candles because she's just the sweetest. Um, she has a candle line that is uberly successful now. I'm so proud of her and so happy. We were just chatting um, the other day, but she sent me three candles. Um, one is Gretel, which she sent me last year and I loved it. And then 1989, this will probably be my bath candle. She does a lot of Taylor Swift ones, which I obviously enjoy. And then the Fraser fur. I cannot wait to open these. The quality of these candles is unmatched. It is better than any high quality candle that you buy. They have all burned beautifully for me. So I wanna start with 1989 first. Also comes packaged so, so well and secure, which I appreciate so much. Just like look at her packaging is so thoughtful. Just like everything she does is just done well. The packing peanuts that she packs with are biodegradable. So this is 1989 and it's salt air, driftwood and sage. Oh, it's like light. It reminds me of being at the beach. So a perfect 1989 candle, and she did it in like the matte 1989 blue. I also love her logo. So there's that one. This is Gretel. If I remember, this one smelled like baked goods. I had it, she sent it to me last Christmas in like a little like amber jar. Oh, this is beautiful. I really love, love, love the matte finishing and just like this emblem, that packaging is beautiful. Yes, what are the notes of this? Oh, I also love that she puts a QR code on the bottom so you can scan and re-order this easy, easily. I'm not quite sure of the notes of this, but it is, it is sweet and spicy, like gingerbread-y. It's just perfect. And then this is the one her and I have a deep love for like Fraser fur candles. I'm so excited. I think this one is like in a mercury glass. Yes. So it's in this beautiful mercury glass. Ugh. It is. It's so good. It's so good. They burn clean. All of her stuff is paraben free. All of the things that she uses from the wick to the wax to everything is just 
top of the line. You cannot beat her candles. And then I'm thinking this is a little box of matches. Even the matches are so adorable. They're black and white. Just, just so adorable. I will link the three that she sent me because they are delicious. It is a whole day later. Um, I'm actually coming down with something. You can hear it in my voice a little bit. <clears throat> I was out running errands and yeah, I'm just trying to get some things in order because I am traveling all this week and it's also the launch of Vlogmas, but I went and just like restocked a couple of my favorite things. I'm going to show you. Sarah V. I don't really change up my skincare. I, I, I like to keep it the same. The hydrating cream and foam cleanser. Best cleanser ever used. Drugstore. Love it. The other thing that I love to follow it with is the 2% AHA toner from Thayer's has witch hazel in it, which is so good for your skin. Absolutely, absolutely love it. And the other thing I'm loving is the Jergens Natural Glow. I slept on this for the longest time. I get the fair to medium. Um, it is so, so, so good. Three of my favorite drugstore items that I've been using. And then I'm just stocking up on a couple other things that I have to travel with. I'll actually be in Indianapolis all this week. So, just taking and grabbing a handful of things so I don't have to take any large containers with me. So part of today, I need to start hacking and getting caught up on laundry and all of those things. Um, but I'm gonna run this stuff upstairs. And while I'm upstairs, I'll show you the upstairs Christmas tree. I decided I wanted the bedroom to be somewhat festive. I go to bed early, so wanted to have a little bit of joy. So I just have a little garland here draped and hanging and then I did add three wreaths up here the ribbon is so so pretty I'll tell you how I did it because it was so simple and then this is the tree in here this is a king of Christmas tree I don't remember the exact kind now but it's just it's like a perfect tree and then at Target they had these 12 days of Christmas and I just thought they were so cute I put them in order so as you work your way down the tree we start with one and then it goes two three four five six and then you weave down and you finish at the bottom I just love how it turned out and then just a variety of gold ornaments but this ribbon was the easiest ribbon I've ever done so cut really long strips. This is really great wired ribbon. I get it at Michael's. It's one and a half inch mesh wired ribbon. And then I just twirled it on my fingers and pulled it and then took that strand, twisted it in half, laid it on a branch back here, and I just let it fall. I'm very much one. I like the ribbon to fall in place. And then I will manipulate it slightly, but I really want the branches to control how the ribbon fell, but I really loved this method. I felt like you couldn't mess it up, and I just love being able to like shape a good ribbon that has a heavy wire that really holds. So this ribbon was a great, great, great success. I love a one and a half inch ribbon. I just think it works great on all, every tree. That's what's up right now. I do have a couple vlogmas announcements that will happen towards the end. I know someone will ask me about this. It is an emerald. See, I first saw Christina Brawley have one years ago. Um, and it's by Pacharel. I'll link it. They still make it. And it's one of my favorite pieces. And I get compliments all the time. Also, if my eyebrows are red, it's because I just had them done. All right, I'm going to get some comfy clothes on. I need to get a workout in, and then we're gonna catch up. All right, friends. Also, aren't these glasses so cute? So, long story short, saw them on Oprah like a year ago, maybe a little bit longer. It took months to research, find them, and have them delivered from Switzerland. They're a Swiss brand. I mean, it was like a whole thing. They're very hard to get a hold of, and I have not been able to find any place that has them, but I'm kind of obsessed with them. Um, I also cut myself. So, 
exciting news because Vlogmas is coming and some changes have been made to our yearly tradition. This year I decided to switch up the advent of kindness and make it of joy and kindness because I think within this season I want to make sure that we have time for ourselves. So this year there's a couple things that are different. For example, there's days where you're going to wear some sparkles or something that brings you joy. You're going to put on music and sing and dance like no one is watching. And then there's also the normal stuff around like supporting small businesses, but also a time allotted to make a vision board for the next year. I wanted it to have a balance of giving kindness to others, but also giving kindness and joy to ourselves. So... It is linked down below. If you follow me on Instagram, I've already shared it. And it's time, friends. I think I'm the most excited for this one. I, I'm pretty pumped. The 2023 Vlogmas merch has launched. A couple of you have asked to keep up last year's, so I have. And I've added a few. So there's joy, peace, and wine. And then I love this too cool one. Um, so, Vlogmas merch is live, it is linked, and all the things. I'm getting excited now. I have just been sitting, editing, doing some Vlogmas work, and I am super excited, but I'm going to end this video short because I have some things I need to pre-film early this week for Vlogmas before I travel because, like I said, I'm traveling the first days of vlogmas so i'm going to do it a little bit different um <clears throat> so stay tuned for that but have things planned and i am getting excited yeah <laughs> i am really excited but i'm going to cut this short you can hear i'm losing my voice but take care of yourself take care of others and be kind kindness is free give it to everyone until next time which is going to be soon and consecutive days in a row bye friends